What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Epic 7 video. Ah oh, man, I'm glad I set my alarm for today's patch and dev notes, man. <laughs> the information I'm about to share with you guys is probably going to blow a lot of you guys' minds, alright? Um, it's going to be a, a couple of videos today. Uh, one video we're going to talk about the update notes, which we're going to get into right now. Um, and then the next video, that's going to be, yo, okay? And we're going to talk about the dev notes, but... Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, the update, uh, another short uh, one week thing here, looks like. Hold on, 410 to 417. Okay. Um, it's just drop right up for Assyria. I mean, we don't have to really cover too much. You guys know who Assyria is. I'll definitely make sure to do a Why Assyria video since I happen to actually have Assyria as well. Um, so, for those of you guys who've been looking for Assyria, maybe been wanting to use her for maybe a raid or um, I don't know. Uh, A11, I, I, I don't know, some, anybody that wanted to use this area, uh, she's going to be available here pretty soon. Now, um, that's not really the highlight of this patch. The highlight of this patch, guys, is going to be Challenge Champion Zerato. Um, unfortunately, Champion Zerato, they are not going to give us, okay? Um, but... So you guys can drool, you guys can make sure you check his skill effects out in combat, you know, we definitely will. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be talking a little bit about that once the patch comes out, because, I mean, come on, that's an ML unit. With that being said, though, it's a real high probability that Champion Zerato might be the next four-star uh, released uh, for the next batch of ML heroes, but we'll have to just wait and see. I mean, the dude's only been in the game for, like, forever. Now, what is big about this patch is... Um, you know that, that artifact that they had in uh, Korea that we didn't have? That Layla's violin? We get a chance to get that. So, let me tell that. Let me, let me explain to you why this is important to you. Okay? So, let's just scroll down. Okay? You guys can, you know, the slow screenshots, little, little turtle man, and then, you know, Champions Rato with this Earth style attack instead of Ice, by the way. Um, with this thing, uh, so, four star artifact, Layla violin. Um, it is pretty interesting <laughs> what this artifact does, okay? And Maxis has a 80% chance to dispel one buff from the enemy after attacking. Now, this is, this is a mage exclusive, okay? And I'm going to explain to you guys why this card is good. <sighs> How do I say this? Um... Basically, everybody that's felt like they're they've been forced or pigeonholed. I, I feel like some people are going to be upset about this, but some people, you know, some people. I feel like a majority of people should be excited. Uh, the people who will be upset is the people that have kind of forced themselves to build Roman or, Her or Herado, uh, you know, simply because they're like, you know, I just, you know, now we have to build the gym because he's pretty much the only two, like, <laughs> you know, like full strippers outside of, you know, other other heroes like Tamron, who was a recent release, or uh who else uh you know bizarre right um this card uh basically opens up a ridiculous amount of options uh both for a11 um and for pretty much anything else uh any other mages that you're running so in terms of the immunity meta this card, since we didn't have access to this before, but now we do, is the immediate counter to all immunity sets, okay? So, unless you're running a team that has two beneficial effects at the start of combat, which is not possible yet, yet, because, you know, maybe they might release new, um, new, um, I don't know, <laughs> new, new gear types later, uh, <laughs> but as of right now, uh, the only thing you really got to worry about is immunity buffs, right? So if you're building characters like Dominio, uh, who's, you know, a faster mage, or any other ma mage in the game uh, that has a high base speed that's, that's easier to build, this card you can throw on them as an opener to combat. So this is something that's really, 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 really going to shift the meta. Now, they had this available in Korea, so their options uh, were pretty pretty drastic yeah, or pretty wide uh, as to what they could do to, you know, counter teams, you know, whereas, like, for us on Global, we pretty much had, like, well, okay, well, if we want to strip old team, we had very limited options, and if you didn't have very specific heroes, uh, let's say you didn't have, you know, Basar, or you didn't have... Um, 
pretty much Basar, you're you're typically building Roman or Harado, right? Uh, but now with this card, this opens up, like I said, a variety of stuff until other heroes present themselves that kind of make this, you know, a different thing, right? So to be honest, like Layla Violin is legit the highlight of this patch. Um, what I do recommend is no matter where you are in the game, make sure you get at least five of these. <laughs> so you can have a max copy. This is one of the first times I might actually even get more than one max copy just in case you decide to run these on multiple mages okay because uh, understand that if you're in a situation when arena fight maybe you want to go uh maybe you missed 80 percent chance and or maybe throughout combat uh, you, you're up against a character that like dn or angelica or whatever uh that has multiple opportunities to buff this is a card that can help your team put that to bed okay so this is this, this is huge especially on mages especially on mages that have multiple aoe attacks with very low cooldowns this could be a very very interesting card to run on them uh so i'd really really advise looking at this card and really starting to think about and just salivate <laughs> with excitement because you're going to be able to do so much with this card guys so for, for, for my people who are already six-star Torado and Roman, hey, man, you guys did what you had to do. You know, like for me personally, I didn't want to use Princess Scepter, man. You know, Princess Scepter, man. Yeah, Roman. I was like, man, Roman. I mean, this kid sounds so good, man, but damn, he's got a scepter. <laughs> okay, glad I didn't six-star him. Anyway, uh, so so that's that, guys. Um, so... When, when you look at this, um, there's a couple more things. And, you know, to be honest, I didn't expect this. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Season 2 items are here. Uh, so, when you look at the Conquest Point Shops, this will be available. I didn't expect that they would be this cheap, to be honest. Uh, the Passionate Frame... It's 2400 glory crest, right? So you get, you know, what, depending on what rank you are, will determine however many of these you get a month. Uh, and, uh, excuse me, a week. My bad, a week. Uh, but, like, Unknown Slate is the same. And then for the Season 2 equipment, you have the Gladiator's Axe, Armor, all 1200 Conquest points a pop. So same cost as they were before. Uh, but now they'll just be 400 glory crests, you know, which is literally nothing. You can literally buy, depending on where you're at, or if you've been stockpiling, you could buy a couple of pieces, maybe three, maybe even four pieces uh, when this patch drops tomorrow. So uh, this is going to be crazy. Now, because this is tier, uh, or tier, uh, because this is going to be 88 gear, um, you're going to want to pick this up. This is going to be attack gear too, so it's going to be a big deal. Um, especially like they're given the full set and the neck is actually crit chance. Like this is, this set is going to be a big deal, like a big, big deal. You're talking beginner progression. This is going to just literally, oh my God, like this on any kind of damage dealer. When you guys are starting out the game, like it's, 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 it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> you don't even need to go to, go to Golem anymore. Listen, just don't even go to Golem. Just go ahead and pick up the set. Make sure you're doing Arena Boo Boo. You know what I'm saying? Go and get this. Offset it with your little crit set that you're going to be getting out of Wyvern anyway. And uh, just, just let your team go to work. Um, it's going to be a little weird, though, um, because there's six pieces here, you know? Um, so, so it's going to be a little off-brand. Uh, so you could potentially run, like, you know, grab two more pieces or whatever, and, you know, maybe maybe have two sets. But this, yo, this set is crazy. I mean, just look at this. Look at this rain, crit chance, crit damage, effectiveness. If this had speed, oh, bruh, let me tell you. Uh, but, like, this axe here is really good. Attack, speed, crit. I'm loving that. The boots, attack, crit, crit damage. Again, no speed. They're so stingy. Uh, the armor is pretty decent. Um, let's see what else here. I'm digging the helmet. So pretty much anything, the helm, the neck and the, 
man, forget it, man. Just make sure you get just just get all of these. All right. Uh, the passionate frame is only going to be available this season, so make sure you guys pick this up. Um, but yeah, guys, this gear is is pretty crazy. You guys got to understand that as the tiers go up, the roll values change, right? So it's yeah, mm hmm, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be rolling some of these, so I hope you guys are are ready for that. Um, so hopefully you guys have been saving your arena points, you know, like I mentioned in a video before, um, because yeah, the faster you can get these, the better it's going to make your progression easier. If you guys haven't really gotten anywhere yet. Um, and then for those of you guys who are just kind of chilling, uh, that already have the points available, you guys going to have a field day. Cause this is, they, they're basically giving you a free set for a character. So if you had a character that you didn't really know how to gear or was having trouble getting gear for, you're good. Okay. So, frame feature has been added. Players can change the frame of the rep hero by tapping the change frame button in the user information window. Uh, you can earn different frames by completing achievements or being victorious in the arena. Okay. So, these are uh, some examples of frames that you can get. I'm assuming based on your arena rank, which is, which is you know, what it is. Now, uh, hunt guide information is cool. Uh, this is a quality of life feature that they are, uh, they're going to be adding here where it basically is going to show you guides, right? So button to prompt a new window to appear that will display more details about a particular hunt stage. Uh, in this window, players will be able to see the rankings for heroes that have been used to clear the stage selected, right? So it'll tell you team comps, so it'll tell you, you know, yeah, you know, basically pick ratings. Uh, so like for Golem Hunt strategy, you can see who the most used heroes are. Uh, so if you guys are having trouble putting together a team, this will tell you what's being used. So if you have it, you can kind of put it together. Okay. So just, just a big quality of life feature. I feel like it'll help a lot of players, especially uh, as the game continues to grow, you know, especially with the collab coming up, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit uh, in the next video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be, I'm trying to like get through this. Cause listen, man, these dev notes is crazy. Uh, <laughs> Other improvements and bug fixes. Uh, issue that caused Leo Scale Foxnet to be used less frequently than intended during auto battle has been fixed. Uh, issue caused an ally's combat readiness to remain the same after use using or how or cannon skill blitz has been fixed. Uh, mascot Hazel Icon quality of life. Uh, side story stuff. Um, let me see here. Cold cooldown. Oh, one to ten active. Yeah, chat, guild, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, nothing else too crazy. Uh, like I said, the highlight of the patch, guys, is just, you know, other than the uh, the gear, the the season gear, everybody's going to be all over that. Uh, you know, like White on Rice, that's going to be huge because, again, a free character set up for literally everybody um, at if you have the points available. And then... Layla's violin is going to be huge. Um, I don't, you know, to be honest, like, Layla's violin, if positioned correctly, I mean, immunity is not really a threat, and this is going to make A11 a joke, guys, for real. This this card is literally going to make A11 a joke. A joke. For real. A joke. And I'm happy for it. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, uh, that covers it for this video today when we talk about the update content. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, as always, uh, you know, you know, that. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. You guys will see why I'm so tongue tied right now in just a little bit. But as always, it's your boy Damone. If you guys have your questions, comments, concerns, definitely leave it in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And with that being said, uh, we'll see you guys in the DevNote video. Peace.